compact for these ones. There we go. And of course, one more here. matter of splitting the case. And this is where we're going to give this a try. Crankcase splitter. Either side or the other side. One of these sides. Okay. Yeah, this side I guess. used this before so I'm gonna try on this side um, and because the other side I don't have the uh, crank gear off because the puller I couldn't get to work yet <clears throat> so I'm a little worried about this setup but I shouldn't go easy on it just because I'm worried that these bolts aren't going to be the strong, strong kind, so... Hmm. Seems like it's worked already. Hmm. Actually, it works pretty good. This is pretty simple. That's it. Split the case. Try using that was. Yeah. I was worried that these bolts won't hold, but for sure about the threads, but actually it's not the case. That's it. Works pretty good. Uh you run the other side. Holding some of back. Alright. That's the, uh, this here, the output shaft, just to push through. has been split. Same as all my other body gear. Makes them really pretty much. There's the shaft for the other one. There. Should the crank. You can also get the gear ratios from this thing now. Let's see what the speeds are and then calculate how I changed it. Um, I do have the gear ratios where I can verify them. And I do have a new and the new um first and second gear for this bike. Alright, here's the new gears. First and second. So, for example, on this spline, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen tooth. And we can take a look at these gears here. So, these are the gears that are now. We're going to take out this one, which is the first key. This 
so you can see a big difference. Big difference. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This is a fifteen tooth. It goes down to a fourteen tooth. Layouts here. I guess this is the current gear layout. This. And then we have what would be the new gears. So much bigger first gear so let's just look at first gear then right now so <coughs> as you can see there's a little Mako stamp in there so this is a 15 versus a 14 tooth and then the same. It's weird. This one's going smaller. I just look at uh, first gear though and see the ratio difference. Get the old tooth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, ten, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. The old tooth is 28, 28 and 15, right? So what we had was uh, 28 divided by 15, oops, 15, 1.86. Okay, now we have 14 and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Okay, so now we're going to thirty-two divided by fourteen. Two point two eight. Big difference. Big difference in first gear. I mean, first gear was essentially second gear. So, we're going to a big jump. So that means we'll be able to take off the huge sprocket we have on this bike when I switch these gears. So, that was part of the goal here. So, 